Life's journey is sometimes a bumpy ride. We all face moments of deep despair and listen to hope about everything. These are when the soul plunges into what mystics and philosophers have termed the dark night of the soul. This profound and transformative experience is a period of darkness. It's also a period of introspection and spiritual growth, depending on how the individual views the experience. This experience is not limited to religious or spiritual contexts. It can manifest in various aspects of life, including relationships, career, or personal identity. Rather than fearing or resisting the night of the soul, we can learn to surrender to it, embracing it as a crucial step on the path to enlightenment and self-discovery. Although challenging, this period can be a powerful catalyst for inner growth and self-realization. Let's explore ways to surrender to this transformative journey. Acknowledge your feelings. The first step in surrendering to the dark night of the soul is acknowledging your feelings and experiences without judgment. Understand that things are not the same as they used to be, and while processing your feelings, understand that it is okay to feel lost, sad, or disconnected. These emotions are part of the human experience and provide opportunities to understand the signals from the universe. That there is a need for a change from the regular patterns. Acknowledge that your feelings are also a means of growth and self-discovery. So, take the time to sit with your feelings, allowing them to flow through you. This step can be very tough as the feeling could be challenging to handle, but allow yourself to feel the feelings. Don't resist or let them consume you, feel them. Acceptance The journey through the dark night of the soul can be so tumultuous that it may be easy to give up and you may want to end things. But a key to surrendering to the dark night of the soul is acceptance. Once you accept that this is an intense period of your life that will make and break you for the better, you will no longer have to fight the feelings and want them to go away. Acceptance will teach you to take things a day at a time and move through the journey with ease. It will help you understand that this is a natural and transformative phase of personal growth, and instead of resisting or suppressing the feelings, you will accept them as part of your current journey. Remember that the dark night of the soul is a process. Like all processes, it has a beginning and an end. The more you resist it, the longer it may persist, so it is easier to accept it. Reflect on life. You have accepted the situation, but it should not end here. The dark night of the soul should lead you to periods of deep questioning and deep introspection. As you pass through this intense process, begin to look inward and question the path you have been following. Take this opportunity to reflect on your life, choices, and goals. What no longer serves you? What changes do you want to make? Try to find answers to these questions. This period of introspection may take a long time to unravel the answers, but trust me, it's worth it. If you keep at it, gradually, you will begin to see the light shining in the right direction, and the answers can be a powerful catalyst for personal growth and transformation. Cultivate patience. Patience with yourself and the whole experience is also a key to surrender. You may start by acknowledging your feelings, accepting the process, and trying to find answers, but if you are not patient to get answers, you will continue to feel the emptiness. Understand that the dark night of the soul is a process, and transformation takes time. Be patient with yourself and the journey. Trust that, in time, you will emerge from the darkness with a renewed sense of purpose and understanding. Release Control Surrendering involves letting go of the need to control every aspect of your life. Letting of the need to manage your feelings, the timing of your life, people, and things around you. Understand that some aspects of the dark night are beyond your control, and trying to force solutions may hinder the natural unfolding of the transformative process. Sometimes, you may not get answers to some questions and may not understand why some things happened. Let them be. For those things you find answers to, work with the solutions. For those who do not, the universe may unfold the answers in time, and even if it doesn't, be able to live at peace with this. Mind-Body Practices 
Engage in mind-body practices such as meditation, yoga, or deep breathing exercises. These practices can help you connect with your inner self, reduce stress, and create a sense of calm amidst the turbulence of the dark night. Also, cultivate mindfulness and present moment awareness. Instead of getting lost in anxious thoughts about the past or future, focus on the sensations and experiences of the present moment. Mindfulness can help you observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. Surrendering to the dark night of the soul is a process that involves acknowledging and navigating the intense internal struggles that often accompany this profound spiritual and existential crisis. While it may seem counterintuitive to surrender to such difficulties, this surrender is more about acceptance and allowing the transformative process to unfold.